Every video here on 616 Entertainment is made possible by my supporters over on Patreon. If you enjoy the show here today, consider signing up. You'll get early access, exclusive videos and podcasts and more. Pro Wrestling Tees has the merch. As always, thank you for watching. Oh, how you doing, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to 616 Nitro. It is time for this guy, Dan Dan Danger Man, to walk the road to the elite. Fuck Nick Jackson. <laughs> Dan Dans, I'm really excited about 616 Nitro Season 4. We kicked things off last week with a little bit of SmackDown. Here comes the pain action. Now, that was a Royal Rumble that we won all the way from the number one slot. Now we kick things off here in AEW Fight Forever with a 21-man over-the-top rope battle royal. The winner of this match will get a shot at the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. You kidding me? Let's get down to business. Now, Dan Dan Danger Man, if you're wondering what this guy's deal is, so am I. I'm not really sure what the hell I was thinking when I put this guy together. Uh, the Bret Hart isms are they were entirely accidental i assure you the pink and black was an idea that i had early on the sunglasses are kind of just to hide his eyes because i don't know if you saw during the entrance but he's got some like scars and shit on his face i don't know what his what his deal is yet belly to belly suplex maybe he is a uh you know maybe he's a stunt man big scoop slam how do you like that we gotta get penta uh into the ropes now how do I there we go running and a Frankensteiner for your fucking deeds how about it now has it been a while since I have played AEW Fight Forever sure has but can I still hit a big vertical suplex you darn dude I can Penta it was nice knowing you see you later pal oh you bitch you bitch Oh man, I'm so fucking slow. I could I couldn't get anywhere near him to get him over the top rope. And now Christian with a reverse DDT. Great. Now the guy coming after me's got a fucking finisher. Excellent. This could be a problem. Especially Oh no, don't do it! I'm prettier! What's he call that now? Kill switch? And I think he also changed Luchasaurus' name to Kill Switch. I don't know. Here's the issue. I didn't really practice, <laughs> so I'm not doing great. This is our first match. You know, they put you in a really tough position for your very first fucking match. Let me tell you something. And we got to we gotta figure this out, you know? We, we need that shot at the AEW world title. Don't do it again! I'm prettier! How are you going to hit me with two of them? God damn. Canadian Destroyer by a man from California and Christian... Oh, man, he tried to fucking... Christ. Everybody hates Dan Dan Danger Man, apparently. And Nick Jackson isn't sure which reality he's in as he's walking back and forth like a fucking jamoke. And see you later. Dan Dan Danger Man, clearly gonna need some work. You know, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. That's okay. Not everybody shows up as a main eventer. Dan Dan's, we gotta climb the ranks. We're gonna climb the ranks and we're gonna we're gonna find ourselves amongst the top of the top. I assure you. It's the road to all out. An unlikely partnership. Are we gonna be looking for some tag team title action? As we fly from Vegas all the way to Washington DC. How about it? You know, it was it was a rough flight. We had a hard time getting over there. I do not like seeing my record as 0-1. That is annoying. And I also don't really remember... Okay, so that's gonna up our... Okay, so that's XP. Gotcha. We gotta watch our battery. I see, I see, I see. Okay. We can handle this. Let's see if we get injured here. Fuck it. It's the standard routine. We're not doing anything, uh, you know, anything crazy. Concentration curls are great because they prevent you from cheating. Go all the way down, all the way up. Squeeze at the top. All right. That was a good little pump. I'll look jacked for dynamite. See, there, there's a good look at Dan Dan Danger Man in his street clothes. Something happened to his face. 
He wears the sunglasses to hide those eyes. Maybe we'll get a look at those eyes eventually. I'll tell you what. The next match we lose, the glasses come off. And if we lose a match after that, maybe we'll fucking cut his hair. How do you like that? Stakes are high. The stakes are very high for Dan Dan Nature Man. Maybe we'll shave the beard before the hair. But that's how we're gonna make this even more high stakes. We're gonna, we, we could lose the glasses, we could lose the mask, maybe we lose the wrapping on the right wrist there, because obviously there's something wrong with his wrist. I am not quite sure why we have an exclamation point, but you know, let's get a workout in. Here we go, something's going on here at the Hall and Rollins gym. Kenny Omega, we have similar facial structures, don't we? Couldn't get it done in the Casino Battle Royale, huh? Ah, that's okay. There's only so much room at the top of the mountain. Every show needs a curtain jerker. Where is this curtain? I can think of a throat I wouldn't mind wrapping around it. Hey, I was only kidding. There's plenty of opportunity here in AEW. I'm sure you have a long career ahead of you. Just nothing compared to mine. Enjoy your workout. Kenny Omega the Toronto twat early on in Road to Elite mode. I don't appreciate that. I don't, plus one something. Like, it's been a while since I've run Road to the Elite mode. I've beaten it twice, but I'm, you know, I don't really remember what all this means. We have, what, we're on week three, so I think we're gonna need to, this will help us rest. That's gonna get our battery out. That's what we need right now. Let's grab something to eat at Long Doe. Now here, here's what we're gonna say. Uh, oh, she ain't looking too bad. I don't. <laughs> you tell me a jumbo slice is a staple in Washington D.C. Here's the thing: in my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES retrospective that I recently did, I talked about I talked shit on Pizza Hut, and I was like, I don't want any of that Pizza Hut bullshit. I'm from Chicago. We have real pizza here. So many people in the comments from fucking New England or New York or wherever else saying like, no, 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 fuck that pizza. We got it. I didn't talk shit on your pizza. I talked shit on Pizza Hut. You know, <laughs> come on now. Relax. Nobody even mentioned you. I would imagine New York pizza is great. I would love to try it. I wasn't talking shit on your pizza, so fucking relax. Would you? Would you fucking relax? Why don't we check out a minigame? That's what we'll do. Because that's the thing with me. To be clear, I'm a pizza boy. <laughs> I don't really care where it's from, whether it's Chicago, New York. I'm not, some of these loading screens I'll cut out. We're going to grab as many chips as possible. I don't care if it's from Chicago, New York, fucking Boston, Florida, anywhere. If it's tasty, I like it. So, let, oh, we don't want the bomb skis. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That Jackson boy had me stuck against the fucking rope. I don't appreciate that. I haven't been sprinting. I've only been doing the regular run. And that's not really uh, working in my favor. So we're gonna have to pull out shit. We have to pull out the actual sprint button. Now that it's probably too late, I'm like deep in last place, but maybe we can make something happen here. I feel like I'm getting a lot of coins here, huh? I feel like I'm getting a lot of coins. I can't look at the scoreboard. I gotta keep my eyes on the screen. Failed? Dude, no, I was tied for first. I came all the way back from last place, tied for first, and they give me a fail. I don't know about that. Get these fucking idiots off my screen, would ya? If I never see them again, it'll be too soon. It's time for our dynamite debut. Before we do that, let's... Uh... This is where we spend coins. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And over... You know what? Shout out to Alexander... Alexander Bolton, who just signed up for Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. We are nearly to the Spider-Man game trilogy retrospective. We unlocked the Grand Theft Auto Vice City retrospective. I don't have enough skill. How do I get more? What the fuck is the wrench then? 
We need a thousand for one fucking level up? Good lord! I want to take a look at my career records while while we are here. Oh, I can't look at my individual characters? Alright, never mind. Let's fucking hit our debut. Let's go, huh? All Elite Wrestling's Dynamite is on the air, and we are sold out in Washington, D.C. This is episode number one, the start of a revolution in pro wrestling. You better believe that every person on the stacked roster is jockeying for a top position. This bout is set for one fall. Making his way to the ring. I'm a Jim Ross guy. Dan. Okay, Justin Roberts only said one Dan. I'll shut up next time, but he he does say Dan Dan. I said it to where he says Dan Dan. I'm a Jim Ross guy. I like Jim Ross a lot. But and I blame the director for this, but how did they let him get away with this is episode one? You know, you gotta and this was a problem with the SmackDown games back in the day. You gotta tell the talent, hey, this is gonna be presented as if it's on television. We're looking to recreate that feel. So this is gonna be episode one! That's what we're looking for, Jim. I know you have it in you, alright? How about outstanding moon salt? Referee Rick Knox in the ring as Nick Jackson is thrown into the corner and he beats a fucking right hook for his goddamn deeds. How about one of those, huh? Now my stamina is dog shit. We are really gonna have to improve that. Dennis, when's the last time you played AEW Fight Club? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I also don't remember how to reverse. It looks like it might be L1 and R1. <laughs> you know? Things that you should have settled before you fucking start recording. There we go. L2 is get out of the ring. That's also useful information. Oh, fuck! Man, I had a... Oh, no! I had a big plan, and this buck boy ruined it. Skid... No, 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 no. Shit. I forgot how nice this game looks. And you, some of you are going to call me crazy for this, and I'm going to call you crazy for a pile driver. That's a, that sentence doesn't even make any goddamn sense, but don't worry about it. I initially, if you're over on Patreon, oh, you may have seen that I announced 616 Nitro Season 4 about a week before it started airing. And one of the things that I said I wanted to do this season was a WWE 2K16 showcase mode playthrough with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have never played one of those before, and I thought that could be a lot of fun. And it's not. Oh, 450, and that did not work in my favor at all. Son of a bitch. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get our asshole together here. Come on now, you're gonna put your chin out there and the fucking the elbow is just gonna bounce off it? Asshole guy. Anyway, I, I got 35 minutes into that recording. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, they take the control away from you for so long in showcase mode. It's just cutscene after cutscene. And then we get in the ring, and it's fucking five minutes of Bret Hart and Stone Cold looking at each other. And I'm going like, can I play the game? So I was getting frustrated with it. I shut it off. We're not going to do that. We're going to play fun games. And some of you probably don't like this game. And I understand if you're disappointed in this game. You know, the, the DLC hasn't been what you wanted it to be. Uh, the updates haven't been the ideal. I totally understand that. I really like this game, but I do totally understand a lot of the consternation that people have with it. But at its core, in my opinion, this is a fun game. And that's a 450 splash. That's what I was looking for earlier. And now we're going to get our asshole together. Big strikes. How about an Indian deathlock for you? Wrap him around into... Look at this! My signature is ready to go. And do you want to know what it is? It's not that. It's this. From the top rope. Oh, whoa. That's not what it is. Maybe he wasn't close enough. <laughs> Take two. Don't lose your signature here, Dan Dan Danger Man. We got this. We got this. 
in position. Oh yeah, twisting on prettier to the top rope. Can we hit it this time? I don't know. Huh, that's strange. I believe my signature is a leg drop from the top rope. A guillotine leg drop. Unless it didn't save that. Because my f oh my finisher is the danger tainment, which is a TKO. Uh, you might also know it. Oh shit! You might also know it as like a fireman's carry into a diamond cutter. I am trying my hardest to reverse whatever he's gonna do, but I think he's about to hit me with a Canadian destroyer. Oh no! That's big bad news. Oh god, he's looking for a special. We got a nut. Come on, no, fuck. That's a super kick. I don't even know how to kick out. What do I just mash buttons? Oh, I should have practiced more. One, two, three. Oh, that chaps my ass to fucking lose to a young buck. Oh, that chaps my ass. Half a star rating. Shove it up your fucking. Never mind. Oh, I'm upset. Dan Dan's, we got a big hole to climb out of here in Road to the Elite. These two mix it up in the Casino Battle Royale as well. Nick comes out on top tonight. Yeah, I know I lost. You don't have to rub it in my fucking face. I needed those XP too. Oh, that's a big problem. That's a huge problem. Flying across the goddamn group. Look, we went, we've gone back and forth. How many times now? We went from Vegas to DC to California. What a what a cross-country waste of time that was. <laughs> what are you doing here? Leave me alone. Lose your luggage, danger man. Takes him a while to stop sniffing my clothes and put everything back. I know we've had our battles, but we're teaming up tonight. No hard feelings? News to me. But sure, if you bust your ass like I will to win tonight, we're all good. No problem there. Losing sucks. Losing, losing luggage, for example. Would have been nice if I didn't stumble on that last line, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to try to get a little workout ski in here. We can probably afford... Oh, God, the injury rate is so high. Never mind. Let's fucking go get something to eat. What are they serving us here in Toast of the Town? Tell me it's just toast. Man, she's looking pretty good, too. Man, the waitresses in this game? I don't. <laughs> Gotta pop by for a little avocado toast, you know what I'm saying? Now, you, you, can let, you guys can let me know in the comments if going forward we want to not watch all of those. We can skip through a lot of those. That's fine. Uh, but in the meantime... We're gonna get in a heavy workout, an intense workout. Because we need to get the XP to make this guy better. Because right now, Dan Dan Danger Man sucks. And it's really fun to win, but I kind of like the idea that this guy sucks. And we need to make him something. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the glasses. I forgot we have to punish him for the loss. Oh my god, as if the Young Bucks weren't bad enough. Now this fucking idiot's here. Hey, Jungle Boy. What's your workout like? I try to work out a lot, but I'd rather be swinging from vines than lifting weights. You fucking idiot. Yeah? Where can you do that? Not the zoo anymore, because I grew up here. They kick me out as soon as I show up. That's too bad. Well, I won't kick you out of a selfie with me. This is how you know Dan Dan Danger Man's a fucking idiot. Wahoo! A photo with fucking Jungle Boy. Hang that on the fucking wall. Print it out and put that shit on the fridge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can upgrade ourselves. Finally. Do we want to go action skills, passive skills? First attack buff boosts your momentum gains for a brief duration. You're the first to land a hit. <sighs> How about my speed? Where's my speed? Because I am so slow. Is that a thing that's in here? Weapon buff. Explosive damage. Injury grit. Allows you to kick out of a match ending pin with a slight probability. 
I'm not seeing any of that here. What about quick mount? It allows you to climb the top rope more quickly. That could be useful. That could be very useful. But how do I just become faster? What the fuck? I don't need this stuff. I need to not be so slow. I move around the ring so slow. Is that... Huh. Movement speed. That is what we needed. So we're, we're going to start there. We're going to start there. And I think it's week two. We're not going to go out. No, we got to fucking work our ass off, okay? We got to keep working. Well, I didn't do any commentary. And I hurt myself. So we gotta go to the, how do I go to the hospital? There we go. I, I thought the exclamation point was so I could heal myself, but it's, this is a restaurant. That wouldn't work out. God damn it. We gotta go to the hospital and get healed up. Look at this guy. You wanna see this guy walking into the emergency room? Feeling much better. Time to go and make some people miserable. I mean, you just took a photo with Jungle Boy. How much worse could it get? This is not, oh god, look at our stats, dude. This is going, this could not be worse. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Making their way to the ring. Dan Dan Danger Man Dan. is probably not going to get a win here. But that also means a loss for a young buck. And, his tag team and that is what happened. I like. As all of this money falls from the ceiling. And their opponents, Scorpio, Sky. And his tag team partner, Ashley Squeeze, Oli Cassidy. The interactive entrances is something that I really enjoy, you know? Being able to trigger when the pyro happens, I can change the camera angle. Boom! Hit that vertical suplex. Now, we're gonna try... Fuck. I think we should probably just try to get out of the ring as soon as possible, because I, I like, can't do anything. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt and fucked up. Oh, we, oh, we, got, our, we got a first reversal there. My timing is so off. But we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. As I now eat a double suplex from Orange Cassidy and Scorpio Sky. Where the fuck is Scorpio Sky? I feel like that guy disappears off AEW TV so often, but you can say that about so many people on AEW, so it's not even worth getting into. I did indeed forget to punish Dan Dan Danger Man for losing that match. We're, he's gonna have to lose an accessory. Whether it's the wrist tape or belly to belly suplex, maybe the glasses, maybe he gets a haircut. This guy cannot continue to lose without facing any consequences, you know? So maybe his true identity will be revealed in time. Oh, hit that belly to belly once again. Where is my fucking partner, dude? I gotta get out of here and you're out there fucking being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Hit those knees. Now, how do I tag? Is it L1? Is it L2? Yeah, it's L2. Thank God. Get that double super kick. Get that buck of the young variety involved in this match. Come here, Scorpio. I'm not done with you yet. I may not be the legal man, but that doesn't mean I can't hit you with one of these. Oh, yeah. Who knows what that's called? Not me. One. Well... That didn't really work out. Get in the ring there, Dan Dan Danger Man. If we have an opportunity to make a difference, we cannot squander it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, got a little reversal action there. Orange Cassidy and I perfectly in sync, exiting the ring. Let's see what Nick Jackson can make happen here. Dan Dan's, what have you been playing? What have you been doing? What have you been up to? Huh? That's what I want to know. Can I taunt on the ring apron? Yes, I can, but it does not. Okay, it does. It actually does up my, uh, my special ball, which is helpful. Scorpio Sky is such a stupid idiot that he got a special right when he tagged out. Oh, Orange Cassidy with a dive up and over the top rope. Come here, Scorpio. 
I don't know how to ch change what I'm looking at. <laughs> Feels like that episode of Always Sunny. Are you looking at us? Yeah? I'm not looking at you either. <laughs> oh no, Orange Cassidy! Tosses me back into the ring. Nick Jackson gets thrown through the barricade! Going to work on the King of Sloth style. Dan Dan Danger Man making a big difference here. Scorpio, you're going after my partner, man. Ooh, I was attacking the legal man, too. I like that. Nick Jackson stealing a taunt from an established wrestler. He's made a whole career off it. Ooh, Orange Gassy with a right hand. What do we see here? Look at this. A big reversal up and over the top. Can Nick Jackson hit that springboard Canadian Destroyer? You know he's looking for it. Lean and Orange Cassidy against the ropes, and he's not going to be able to uh, make anything happen. We're going to pop in the ring and see what we can do here. Bang, bang. What did they, come on, what are they making me get out of the ring for? I was in there for five seconds. Look at these jerk-offs. Double suplex on my partner, Rick Knox. Why don't you make one of them get out of the ring? I don't think so. Come here. Come here. I've had enough of this. Heel kick to the back of the goddamn head. Tell me what you think about this. Belly to belly action. Oh, and they're kicking me out of the ring, man. I was going to fucking hit him with a big leg drop from the top rope. Cover, cover, cover. One, two. Shit. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. Double DDT on my partner. I'm gonna get a special. And I'm gonna come in and make a goddamn difference. Because I'm tired of this bullshit. How do I get in the ring? Why won't it let me in the ring? Why won't it let me in the ring? It let me in the ring before. Get in the ring! One, two. Come here. There it is. Look out. Dan Dan's danger tainment on Scorpio Sky. And that will do it. If my partner could hit a cover. Orange Cassidy with the beach break on Nick Jackson. Fuck it. Bring me in, pal. Bring me in. I hit the danger tainment. I'm feeling good. I could pin Scorpio Sky like he's nothing. Try me if you think I'm playing. Scorpio's going to go for a cover, isn't he? Nick Jackson down for an extended period of time. That's the most he's sold in his entire career. Scorpio dodges to the left. Hits a right hand on return. Looking for a little bit of guillotine. Ooh, and it's not good for your health. You gotta be careful with that bullshit. Get in the ring, get in the ring, get in the ring. One, two, three. Can anybody tell me why I just stood still? Not only could, maybe it's because I'm injured, I wasn't able to fly over the top rope like Orange Cassidy did, but I also, it just wouldn't let me walk forward. Dan Dan Danger Man is starting his career with a record of 0-3, and, and this could, this could not be going worse. Both of these teams were oddball pairings, but one of them had to emerge victorious. <sighs> You know, thus far, this is the exact opposite of every other, like, career mode playthrough we've ever done here. Because usually I win matches. <laughs> and I'm winless thus far here. So now it's time to buckle down as we head to Austin, Texas. I'm exhausted from so much air travel. I'm exhausted from losing matches all the time. Let's be clear about that. Now I gotta drive with this fucking guy. Thanks for the lift. Partners help each other out. Would have appreciated more help on our match. That's the past. Hear about our next match? It's a big one. If we win, I'm here in title shot. How do you always find out this stuff before I do? You're good in the ring, but maybe your politicking needs work. Hilarious to come from him. Okay, we have a zero in the battery department. Our, whatever that is, our momentum is, could not be lower. It's very low. How, how about our endurance? Is that a thing? 
endurance, like our stamina, doesn't seem like it. Is it a passive skill? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're going to up our momentum rate. That's what we're going to do. And then I think we should probably edit our appearance because we've eaten this many losses. Our appearance has to change. Like I said, we're going to figure out who the hell Dan Dan Danger Man is by the end of this. Get a closer look at it. Figured this will be a fun way to uh, keep the stakes high. Street clothes wise, I think maybe he's not allowed to wear the glasses anymore. He suffered too many losses. And that is why he wears the glasses. Clearly something has gone wrong in the life of Dan Dan Danger Man. Jesus Christ. Things could be going better for him, I think. Do we change the ring attire at all? You know what? I think we do. We're losing the Breathe Right strip. We don't deserve it anymore. And I think... What sort... You know what? We're taking out our frustration through body modification. That's what's happening. Dan Dan Danger Man was so upset about the losses, he went out and in a fit of rage, he got multiple nose piercings. Yeah what he did that's how he deals with the pressure you know that's what happens is that what you want to do with your life that's what he did so we got to get to we got to get back to work our battery is very low so we got to get something to eat we got to rest oh god look at this poor fucker man these goddamn blood red eyes. What happened to Dan Dan Danger Man in his past that led him down this path with these these horrible scars on his face? Good lord. That looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of Tex-Mex food. I prefer authentic Mexican food, but I would eat that. I would certainly eat that. Ray Fenix in the house. Dan Dan Danger Man, I saw you enjoying some Tex-Mex and wanted to talk to you. You know, Death Triangle is like Brit Mex. We perfectly blend British and Lucha Libre styles. You and your new partner are a bad combo. How about you give us more than one match before you compare us to you and your literal brother, okay? Fair enough, amigo. But remember, bad teams don't last. You know what? That's fucking music to my ears. I don't want to. I don't want to team with this asswipe. We got some rest. I think we probably hit a mini game. Right? Because that's, that's big points. That's big time points. For our XP, which we desperately need. As we've said, look at our record, man. We're 0-3. We got to improve on this. Penta says, I don't remember what this one is, and I'm not going to read Better stay focused. the instructions. Here, okay, it's Simon Says, but it's Penta Says. Get it? Real brain buster, huh? Now, if we can't win this, we should kill ourselves. <laughs> square, triangle, X, circle, square, X. Oh, shit. See, now that's tough. Because I didn't know how that was going to go. We're going to get it this time. You ready? See? Now that I know the rhythm... Now what I now that I know what they expect of me, it's easy peasy fucking lemon squeezy, okay? That's all right. Even though I got the last one wrong, we're still in the lead, and we won. So that's a thousand XP. Dan Dan Danger Man with his brand new piercings. He's dealing with the losses as best he can. He was handed a TNT belt for one reason or another. Who knows why? And uh, the Young Bucks are upset, and that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, we can go out. I don't know, man. Our momentum is still very low, but this will actually improve our momentum, and it will recharge our battery, so we're going to take it, and we're going to head into this match feeling better than we ever have, okay? That's what we're going to do. 
Got a little press conference action here. Why would they put those chairs out if no one was going to fill them? It looks like I'm a fucking idiot just here by myself. I didn't set out to team up with someone who, for all intents and purposes, is my rival. But in AEW, you never know what's going to happen. At Dynamite, me and my new partner will face a bona fide dream team. But the world needs to wake up and realize that you're looking at the next AEW Tag Team Champs. So don't miss the match, Texas. Is there anybody here? Or is this like a current day Dynamite uh, show where... Never mind. <laughs> Dustin Rhodes, a legend in the flesh. I won my share of tag team titles, six or so, with almost as many different partners. So what's the secret to a successful tag team? You have to accentuate your partner's strengths and hide their weaknesses and get separate hotel rooms. Thanks for the advice. And a pick? See, I would take, if I were Dan Dan Danger Man, of course, I can understand wanting a photo with Dustin Rhodes. He's the fucking man. I personally wouldn't do that because I don't ever take selfies. I don't like photos of myself. <laughs> so why would I want another one? It is nearly time for All Out. We have a pretty good battery. Our momentum is still low. What can we do to get our momentum up? We can go sightseeing. Let's go sightseeing. We're gonna get that momentum spiked. We're gonna head into All Out against who is apparently a dream team. We don't even know what the match is. Look at this. Getting a look at that nice blurry JPEG background here in Austin, Texas. Artists, when given a chance, can make something really special. Me, being an AEW, that's my chance to make something special of my own. And to hopefully heal my eyes, which... <laughs> they look like they're getting worse. Off to Dynamite. And then it's all out, right? Or do we have another week? We're, we're gonna figure it out, okay? We're gonna figure it out. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Making their way to the ring, Dan, 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 beautiful. Okay, the dream team is apparently Sting and Paul. <laughs> and the goddamn icon in the big show. You know what? I don't like being 0-3, but seeing Jackson. Nick Jackson with a record of 0-3, it almost makes it all worth it. And all that money that just flew out there was money going down the toilet. Never mind. It's the icon. This is the man. Drop those snowflakes, one of the coolest fucking entrances ever. And look at this big behemoth right here. Oh yeah, dude, come on. Now my momentum is doing well. I, uh, I'm still very slow. Oh, caught the stinger with a back elbow. You know, it sucks that my first win is gonna have to come at the behest of my favorite wrestler of all time. But you know what? It is what it is. It's a new generation, and it's a power slam for the Icon Sting. What do you think about a moonsault? All right, you see what happens when Dan Dan Danger Man gets a good night's sleep and a nice fucking meal in his fucking tummy, okay? <laughs> Your fortunes change. Things are not going to go the way that you want them to go. And I still need to figure out the reversal timing much better than I currently have it. Because this is not playing well for me. Sting, get the full... Oh, god damn! Look how far away he is! Bing! Bang! Whoop, that didn't work out. What are you... Oh, shit. Alright. So, this could be a problem. Being in here with Paul could be a problem because it doesn't look like any of my offense works against him. But when you hit that knee to the bicep... That's going to damage that big old punch he wants to throw. Yeah, dude. Drop kick in the corner. That's going to hurt his chances of catching me with a clothesline. And that curb stomp is going to set you up for something fucking real nice. Big boot. You think, you think you're the only one that can throw a big boot just because you're a big boy? All right. I really like Paul's gear here. Oh, look at that duck under. Go behind. Got him for a massive back suplex. I'm feeling it now, Dan Dan's. I'm fucking feeling it. 
Do I? Oh, yeah, wisely tag out. How about another big back suplex? Come here, Stinger. I'll show you a drop kick or two. Let me head to the top rope and tell you about my... Oh, well, that's not what I want to do. I believe, like I said before, I believe my signature is a leg drop off the top rope. And thus far, I haven't been able to hit it. But I'll hit this. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what to call that. But we'll figure it out. From the top, who's ready for a... Oh, Jesus Christ! Looking for a whisper in the wind there, but the stinger caught me out of the fucking clear blue sky. And Moonsault for his deeds. Hey, Paul. Come here, Paul. I got something for you. First of all, curb stomp. Second of all, top rope. Can I hit the leg drop? No, okay. We got, we're gonna have to head into that menu because I was pretty sure. Oh shit, I still can't get him up? I was pretty sure that I set my signature as a guillotine leg drop from the top row. And it's just not working. But this will double super kick. And you know what? Who needs a signature when you've got a finisher? Let's bring the stinger over here and show him about, oh fuck. He caught me. No, he's gonna waste my special. Oh shit, go behind. Got him where we want him. Tell him about the danger tainment. There it is. Well, I wanted. Look at this. 450. I wanted to pull him away from the ropes, but I don't remember how to do that. So I'm actually gonna tag out. I'm gonna bring in this young buck. Even though I shouldn't. I'm on a fucking roll here. You know what? Maybe I won't. Let's go to the top rope and hit him with a top rope Death Valley driver. Young Buck. Help me out here, pal. One, two, three. That's how you right the ship. That's how you get a score settled. I'm on the right track now. Dan Dan Danger Man picks up his first win. Unfortunately, it was over Sting. But it is what it is, okay? A great win for these two against a truly legendary team. The world is starting to take notice of Danger Man and Nick. Thanks for the update, JR. Love to see the word victory over Dan Dan Danger Man. What do you think about it, Panda Bear? I think he's doing pretty good. I'm not doing that good. I can do better. That's the first time you guys have heard Panda's voice, I think. If you're wondering why she sounds like that, it's because she's a tiny little puppy. She's only 11 weeks old, and she, she goes... <coughs> she just, like, walks around yelling at shit. And she'll grow out of that, but she's a little smush-faced pup, and that's what she does right now, so... I hear her voice like this! <laughs> Dan Dan, Danger Man at the airport again. It's been two hours. If I don't leave now, I'm going to miss the last shuttle. But I don't even have my gear. Hope they find my bag. Dan Dan, Danger Man with a record of one and three. We can turn things around. I know we can. The following contest is set for one fall. Making his way Dan Dan's, I made an executive decision and decided that it was enough of the gruff no more working out. No more going to goddamn restaurants. I went and had a nice, intense workout. And this Jabroni Javinsky, Sammy Guevara, had something to say about my workout. And uh, you know what? I can't let that go without dealing with it. So Scoop Slam, here we are on AEW Dark where Sammy Guevara belongs, and we're gonna pick up a nice win here before Big Power Slam. Before we head into our match at the pay-per-view, we might even have one more stop at Dynamite along the way. We will cross that bridge when we get there. I feel like I've said that a number of times already. Oh, I don't like that Sammy and I are wearing the same colors. We're gonna have to change that right after we change his spinal cord with a pile driver. That'll change your career right there, all right? Come here, Sammy. You, oh, son of a bitch. That certainly didn't go the way I wanted it to. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not going to be doing that. Come here. Yeah, you. But you, he's running away for a reason. Because he knows 
he's gonna get his ass kicked. Neckbreaker, if he comes anywhere near me, trust me. Uh, let me get my bearings, and then the ass kicking will commence. Just like this. How do you like that? Sammy, Sammy, I'll tell you what. Go do something. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. But this is what I wanted to do, okay? Striking combinations, you love to see it. Off the ropes. Oh, Sammy looked for a flying knee. Nothing there. A little drop kick for your fucking deeds. I, I'm trying to go to the top rope, I assure you. <laughs> but I'm just not very good at controlling where I want to go, apparently. Come here. Sammy, it's corner time for you, okay? Love that drop kick in the corner. Now get up, because I'm not finished with you yet. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You know this move right here? I don't. <laughs> it's, a, it's an unprettier of some form or fashion. But the exact details are lost on me. Pile driver! Know that move very well. Now, I, I'm building a head of steam here, and I do not intend... Ooh! Sammy tries to get the, the jump on me. But that's not going to happen. Come on, you got to know better than that, kid. Off the ropes. Look at this. That's a back body drop with your fucking name on it, okay? That's what that is. Now... How do I do my signature? I, oh, that was nice. Okay, he's so close. Can I do it now? I don't know, from the top. Whisper in the wind. And you know what? We'll figure out the, the signature situation later. Let's get Sammy in the middle of the ring. Dan, Dan, oh, Sammy reverses the danger tainment. I am, you know what? I'm a little impressed. I'm a little impressed. He's gonna eat the loss here, so we'll, we'll let him have something. That's his one little thing that he's gonna be able to have. He reversed the danger table, okay? Big fucking deal. Ooh, he's reversing that too. We're gonna change the colors on Dan Dan Danger right soon. Bing, bang. Oh yeah, got him against the ropes, gonna bring him out. We're gonna bring him outside, apparently, oh, from the top. Look at this. Oh, an elbow all the way to the floor. Now, Sammy, I wanna tell you something about the guardrails. You know, I've been making sure that they're looking nice so I can throw you through them, okay? You little idiot bitch. Check this out, on the floor. Oh my me. Now get in the ring. I'm gonna tune you in real nice to Danger Tainment. It's my favorite network television station. It looks a little something like this. Danger Tainment on Sammy Guevara. Thanks for coming, shithead. Rick, count it. One, two, three. That's a nice win. A nice win out of nowhere for Dan Dan Danger Man, the best match of his career thus far, it's pretty clear that we need to get out of the tag team division. A tremendous main event matchup that ends our first episode of Dark. Thanks for to uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get that match score bonus, couple extra, some nice XP there. You gotta love it. Hey man, let's keep going to work. It's Saturday night, and you know what that means. AEW All Out is live and sold out here in Jacksonville, Florida. Tonight, our prestigious AEW Tag Team Championship will be on the line in a featured matchup. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Making their way to the ring. Team oh, I was going to say, wait a minute. I'm in my street clothes, but I forgot. My gear is not here. Uh, we're getting a tag title shot. Our record is one in three, and his tag or one in two as a tag team. Uh, my my other win came from a singles match, but goodness gracious, we don't deserve a tag title shot. And they don't even have the belts. Where are the belts? You can't have a title match without belts. Okay, that goes against the laws 
of everything that we all know and love, all right? And I'm in here, I'm here in my street gear. I don't like being in front of the people without my fucking glasses on because now my eyes are visible to everybody. We don't know what happened to Dan Dan Danger Man's eyes just yet. But I hope you guys are still watching. I hope you've stuck with me through, you know, the trials and tribulations that kicked off this Road to the Elite mode. Power Slam! I love that animation. I keep doing that. Oh yeah, dude! I keep doing that because I love the animation. You know, things started out pretty rough for Dan Dan Danger Man, but we are going to get our feet beneath us. We might earn our first championship. Russian leg sweep! Right here against the best friends, Trent Beretta tagged in. Chuck Taylor eats a right hand from Dan Dan Danger Man, and that's what he deserves. Shit. Oh, come on now. Let go of my partner, you fuck. I want to hit a nice drop kick, and I will. A little bit of taunt action here, and in the early going. It's time for danger attainment. Boom! Put him down! Nick Jackson! Make a difference! One, two, three. Can you believe this? Out of nowhere, Dan Dan Danger Man and Nick Jackson have captured the AEW Tag Team titles in under 90 seconds. The unlikely team of Danger Man and Nick is now our AEW Tag Team Champions. What a story. They gave me no time to read that. An unlikely team, one in their street clothes, is now Tag Team Champions. What a story. Danger Man, I didn't like you at first, but no one can doubt we make a great team. And I like you enough that I played a little rib. I stole your luggage. It's under my coat in the locker. No hard feelings? Mm. Super kick! I guess there are some hard feelings after all. Has this team disbanded minutes after winning the championship? Things were not looking very good there for Dan Dan Danger Man starting things off, but now we have gold around our waist. The momentum is in our corner, and uh, we got a record of 3-3, three and three, so we're batting 500. Dan Dance, this was only episode one of our AEW Fight Forever Road to the Elite playthrough here on 616 Nitro. I hope you had a blast. I know I did. I love you, and I'll see you next week.